Yo, what is up my beautiful people? I just wanna send a shout out to everyone that's been rocking with the Brilliant Average Dude channel because recently we hit 6,000 subscribers and 1 million views. So it's time to retire or celebrate or go on a vacation at least. So I got my passport here. I got my travel bag with my Steam Deck and all my good stuff. So it's time for us to plan a vacation. But when you're planning a trip, I think that this isn't enough. So what I have for you today, you guys, I have my full travel backpack. Ugh. We're gonna get into this thing. We're gonna see what's in it. What type of barely average tech am I taking on me if I were to go on a trip? So let's not waste any time. Let's get into the backpack of tech and let's see what the barely average dude would take on a trip in the backpack. But before we do that, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, all that great YouTube stuff so I can keep bringing you more Burly Average Dude content like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is just see what's in the backpack. You know, we're not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna show you like what type of tech I would take with me on a trip. Um, I, don't, I don't I don't have the tickets purchased yet, but we hit a million views, over 6,000 subs. We gotta, we gotta plan something. So this is what I would take if I was going on a trip. So starting out with the chargers, you know, we're going on a trip. We're gonna need some various chargers to keep our, all of our devices topped up and ready to go. So let's look at what type of chargers I would have if I was to go on a trip. Now, I'm gonna leave the link to all of these in the description um, down below. So if you wanna get some really average dude tech, you can as well. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is something that is actually from one of the um, sponsors of today's video. And this is the, the new Ugreen uh, Uno series. So we have the, the Ugreen uh, Uno uh, RG and the Ugreen Uno wireless charger here. And the reason I like these chargers here is because they are very compact, but you have an awesome feature set. So this uh, charger here is 100 watts and it has four ports here. You can see these little feet. And watch what happens when I plug this in, you guys, watch this. So when I plug this in, we have a little guy that comes to life. As you can see here, we got this little animation here, this little screen. Let's check that guy. Just a little friendly little guy, 100 watt charger. He has a little face there, he's gonna be greeting you. And I think this is a dope charger because we have four ports, three USB-C, one USB-A. This is gonna give you up to 100 watts um, divided between the ports, or you can get a total of 100 watts out of the, the first USB-C port. So this is a great, amazing charger here. I'll just plug something in so you can see this working. Okay, so I'm charging my phone here. As you can see, it is charging. And yeah, so this is the Ugreen uh, Uno charger. 100 watts has a little face on. I just think that's cool. Has a little face on there. Now that's obviously not necessary, but I don't know. Friendly little guy there charging your devices. I think this is dope. No, so this is future barely average dude, and I'm not sure how this happened. Maybe I do need that vacation, but I actually unplugged the USB cable from the charge brick, and with it still being plugged into the phone, I plugged the other end into the wireless charger, but it's still miraculously charged. Maybe I do with that vacation, but just keep an eye on that USB cord. The other charger that I carry with me in my bag is the, the Ugreen uh, Uno Magnetic MagSafe wireless charger. So this thing right here also has a little face. I don't know, Ugreen likes putting a little face on these chargers here. I don't know to make them more friendly, but anyway, we have this on here as a wireless charger. It has MagSafe. So I can show you with, uh, with an iPhone, put that on top. It has a nice magnet. As you can see, it's charging there. And it also has a, like a rotating or a pivoting top here. So you can set this on your desk and you can have it at whatever angle you want it to be. Tilt it down so it can lay flat or you know, tilt it up so it can be a little bit more towards you on your desk. And this is an amazing uh, wireless charger here. And it's, it's compatible with all wireless charging devices. We have the uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra here. And this is gonna charge as well uh, wirelessly and it's compatible with anything that can charge, but I have a Mag, uh, MagSafe case on my uh, my Galaxy uh, just so that it will stick. But if you don't have anything that's MagSafe, you can just lay it flat and it will still charge, but it just won't, it won't be able to, um, you know, hold it up because it needs that MagSafe uh, magnet to hold it up. But this is a dope charger. And what makes this charger so great is the fact that it actually has an additional USB port. 
check this out. So on the side of this, it has an additional USB port and that will charge up to uh, five watts out of that second port. So now I can charge both of these devices straight from the wireless charger here. We can get up to 20 watts from the wireless charger itself and five watts from this port on the side. And this is gonna be an amazing companion for you on your, your journey or just put this on the desk or if you take it, if you want a trip, you can put this on like, you know, the coffee table or the nightstand or wherever you're staying. And you can charge up to two devices, one from the wireless charger and one from the actual uh, pass-through charger. I think that's dope. Having a pass-through charger on a wireless charger is pretty dope. So yeah, this is the, these are the two, uh, two of my favorite chargers from Ugreen. They did send these out to me to test out, but I am loving them. And these are definitely something that I can recommend. Um, they didn't pay me to say this. They just sent it out for testing, but I'll leave a link to all these in the description. Ugreen Uno uh, RG and Ugreen Uno Magnetic uh, MagSafe charger. So anyway, so we have our chargers here and this is a, another charger here. This is like my main charger here. Uh, from a company called Slim Q. And what I like about this is that it's 100 watts, has four ports on the top. It has a uh, retractable um, prongs here, but it also comes with this uh, extension cord that is very uh, slim. You just slide that in there, that clicks into place. And now you have like a five foot extension cable, or you can always just take it off if you don't want it. Uh, and then you just have this here. I mean, this is dope because you have that extension cord already sort of coming with the package and it is pretty seamless and clicks in there very nicely so these are the chargers that i'm taking with me when i go on my trip but we're not done let's keep going let's see what else you know we have in the bag what other tech we have waiting for us in the uh the tech backpack let's see what else we have so in this front most pocket we have just one thing here actually we have a few things here we have a few things here so we have storage this is gonna be our storage for our trip here. Just two things here. It seems like not enough. You go on a trip, you, you need some storage for those videos. But this is actually a, uh, a eight terabyte SSD. So you can see this here, it's just an enclosure. This is a Samsung 878 terabyte SSD. This is what I edit all of my videos off of. Now it's not the fastest SSD I have. It's only gonna do around 500 megabits per second, but this is definitely enough to edit, you know, 4k videos and the videos that i usually edit like you know for youtube and whatnot other projects i edit everything off of this um when i'm on the go and this is a great uh, ssd with a pretty good enclosure it's pretty cheap um not too expensive it's just like a, a simple usb enclosure and yeah i mean you're good to go you just put this on and you have an eight terabyte ssd you guys so i got it for a good price like back when it was on on sale but um, I would look for, let's see, try to find the best price for this eight terabyte SSD and this uh, enclosure from uh, Cable Matters. I do like this. We have a, a flexible short uh, cable here, 10 gigabits per second. I do like this cable, very small, very flexible, and that's great. We also have this. Everyone should have one of these. This is like a USB drive, but it's like a USB drive on another level. On one side, we have USB A, on the other side, we have USB C. This is 512 gigabytes here. But the great thing about this is that this does over 1000 megabits per second. That's right, this little thing here is doing around 1200 megabits per second, super fast out of that USB-C port. Um, this is this is great. So I think this is good because if you need to like transfer files between someone that has like USB-A, you have that covered and all your other devices with USB-C, you have those covered as well. So this is something I think everyone should have because you never know when there may be an emergency and you need to whip out like a USB drive and save some file, you never know. Your left could depend on a file and you're not gonna have this ready to go. So always keep one of these in your bag. I always have one of those ready to go because you never know what files you're gonna have when you're traveling. So yeah, I'll leave a link to both of these in the description, the enclosure, the eight terabyte SSD, and this small little USB drive here. This is pretty much like an SSD. We're getting speeds like over one gigabit per second. This is actually a dope little, S uh, dope little uh, USB drive here. So I'll leave a link to all of that in the description. Anyway, carrying right on, we've gone through this pocket here. Okay, we have a few more things in this pocket. Okay, this is the audio section. This is the audio section, you guys. We have two different options here. We have the wired option and we have the wireless option. So for the wireless option, you know we have the, the ROG uh, earbuds here. These are actually pretty dope. 
uh, pretty good latency for Bluetooth earbuds. They have noise canceling as well, transparency mode, all that good stuff. The case has wireless charging. They sound pretty good. Um, pretty good design, if you ask me. It has like a little gamer aesthetic, but if you know if you're um, out and about in gaming, these are pretty good earbuds. Good battery life, good sound, um, and yeah, I, I do like these uh, earbuds for gaming because they have pretty low latency um, for Bluetooth earbuds. Now we have, if you want the ultimate low latency, we have some some uh, headphones here. This is like uh, in-ear monitor style headphones, so this is going to wrap around the ear and then. Um, be more secure like this. Let me show you how that looks. Okay, so this is how it looks on the ear here. This is gonna give you the ultimate security um, and comfort with the um, the firm ear tips there. These are great earbuds here. What I like about this is the fact that because these are like uh, semi-professional, you can actually take the, uh, the earbud off of the cable and it has like interchangeable cables. So you have a cable that has like a, a better uh, mic or a cable that has like a better uh, audio signal. And then you can just replace the, the cable by swapping the earbud onto the new cable. And that's one thing I like about these in-ear monitor style earbuds is that you can always swap out the cable for um, you know convenience or you know, ultimate audio quality, whatever you need, you're gonna have that option here because these are like um, like semi-professional in-ear monitors. They're not that expensive either. They have great sound. And this is by a company called MEE Audio. So this is by a company called MEE uh, Professional Audio. Pretty uh, um, affordable for the quality that you get of these in-ear monitors. And if you're doing some serious gaming with the audio you want to make sure that the earbuds aren't going to fall out and you're going to have great quality and if anything if the cable ever breaks it's going to be easy for you to replace it without having to worry about buying a whole new uh set of earbuds you know you can get a cable for like less than 20 dollars without buying the whole set so these are my uh, audio options when on the go for gaming and i think they are great so yeah we got wired and wireless and you are good to go on your trip so moving along quickly i'm not trying to take too much of your time i need to get out of here i need to plan my trip you guys so moving right along to the the next pocket here what do we have here oh this is going to be our tablet pocket yeah that's right we got our tablets in here and we have two options that's right we got two options everything is covered so we have the new ipad pro m4 11 inch and we have the galaxy tab s9 plus i don't, I don't know how big this one is like 12.9 or 12 point it's, it's, like, it's like almost 13 inches so we have the 11 inch ipad pro m4 and we have the the big galaxy tab s9 plus great tablets you can't go wrong with either of these I may take these both, you know, just depending on what my needs are. And as you guys can see, I'm not really, I don't have any allegiance. I have the, the Galaxy phone and the Galaxy tablet. I have the Apple phone and the Apple tablet. So I'm not, I don't have any allegiance to any sort of brand. I use what works for me and that happens to just be both of them. So yeah, I think you can't go wrong with either of these. No, good. Moving right along. We've made our way to the, the main pocket here. What do we have here? We're getting into the meat and potatoes of this little setup here. What the, What is this? Okay, this is one of my favorite accessories for any sort of device, for your handheld, your laptop, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever. This is like one of my favorite um, accessories. This is the Vitcher uh, Pro AR glasses, AR XR glasses. And what this is pretty much is these glasses actually have a screen inside of them that uh, you can connect it to a device and it's going to give you a, a huge screen like right in front of your eyes. It's hard to show on video, but it gives you a huge screen right in front of your eyes. It's like over a hundred inches. It looks amazing, super bright, uh, super clear, 1080p micro OLED displays. I swear by these glasses. You don't need to carry around a big portable monitor. Just get you some Vitcher. AR glasses and this little package is going to give you a huge uh, screen over 100 inches, super bright. You can use it outside, use it in the bright sunlight, and you're going to be good to go with the, the Vitra AR glasses. Highly recommend these here. Make sure you check out these because these are an amazing accessory for all of your devices. Now, next up, we're going to have just some uh, peripherals here. This is like my favorite uh, portable controller here, the 8-bit do. SN30 Pro, amazing small controller, but it actually still feels pretty good in the hand. I have pretty large hands as you can see here, but this little controller still feels pretty good in the hand. It's compatible with uh, Android, iPhone, Mac, Windows, uh, Switch, 
this thing pretty much connects to everything. And what I love about this is that if you connect it to like uh, a PC with Steam in the um, Switch mode, it would actually give you gyro controls. Now I love gyro for like, you know, shooting games and stuff like that. And if you connect this like a Switch controller, it will show up as a Switch Pro controller and you can get gyro controls. And just check out the design. This design is dope. Like it's like a, a green translucent design. That's dope, you guys. Can't really argue with that. I do also have another colorway. So this is like the, the retro colorway. I like this one as well. It's giving you the old Nintendo vibes, but these controllers are dope. Highly recommend the 8-bit Do controller. Um, these are some of my favorite controllers for on the go. Anyway, moving right along, what else do we have in here? Now, this is where it gets a little kind of kind of crazy, kind of dicey. I actually have two handhelds in here because I wasn't really sure, you know, which one I should take. So this is where I need you guys help. Um, leave a comment down below which handheld I should take or which handheld you would take on your journey. We have the Steam Deck OLED limited edition. And over here we have obviously the ROG Ally X. But also we wanted to let you know that the ROG Ally X does fit in the original Ally case. Now I'm not saying anyone wants to buy this, but if you have it, get your money's worth because it was way too expensive to not get your money's worth. I will, I'm, I will continue to use this case for every Ally generation that fits in this case because I paid too much money for this case. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> but anyway, if you have it for the Ally and you get the Ally X, just know that it does fit. Okay, so leave a comment down below which one I should take on my journeys. Should I take the ROG Ally X or the um, Steam Deck OLED? It's hard to decide, they're both great. If you're playing like, you know, less demanding or indie games, I think the OLED Steam Deck is gonna be great for you. But if you're playing like more demanding games or you want just a little bit more battery life, the Ally X could really come in clutch with that extra battery and that extra power. So it's really a toss up between these two. No, I have some other devices that I would probably want to take like this giant behemoth here. Um, but I really just uh, am afraid to take this on a long trip and risk anything happening to it. Maybe if I was going to stay with family or something like that, I may take something like this, but I'm afraid that anything will happen to this. So I take the devices that uh, I'm not afraid to lose. <laughs> I know that sounds wrong, but anyway, I want to know which one I should take debating between these two, but it could be either one of these devices here. But let me know what you guys think in the, uh, the comments down below. We're almost done here. Just a few more things in my tech backpack. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see what else we have in here. A bunch of adapters. Um, I'll leave a link to all these in the description. I don't know if you guys really want to like hear all of these things, but I'll just give you a brief overview of the uh, of the adapters here. I do have a few different adapters that make my life so much easier when on like a, a trip or something. Um, so let me just show you the adapters that I take, give you an idea of what they're used for, and maybe give you an idea of what you could be um, using on your next journey. Now, I have the Vitcher adapter here two in one simple uh explanation is that you connect your glasses and you connect power is great this was absolutely amazing for the original ally because it only had one port so you couldn't charge and use your ar glasses at once but with the ally x it has two ports so you technically don't even need this but if you're taking the steam deck you plug this into the steam deck and you can connect your glasses and get power at the same time so this is a great uh, little uh adapter to have now this is just a little usb-c hub power data and more usb-c data this is a great little compact one i like carrying around this is amazing this is on um, by cable matters not sponsored but it is a hdmi uh, usb-c on the other side this is usb-c so this is going to go into your device and this is going to give you like uh, hdmi out signal as well as up to 100 watts power in so this is going to be dope but i like this because it supports up to 8k 4k 60 uh 1080p 120 whatever resolution and frame rate you can throw at this it will um it will do and some hubs or docks don't really do like 4k 120 or 1080p 120 or up to 8k this is a great little uh usb hdmi adapter to have and then we have some fun ones we have this one here that is a uh, USB two in one. Now this is not, this is not like the Vitcher one. This just does this just does data and power. But this is going to be great for like something like the um, the Steam Deck. Plug this in, and now you can get data and power in at the same time. That's going to be great to have. This comes in clutch. You never know when you're going to need it. Now this is actually a uh, a USB C to uh, to MagSafe um, cable connector here for like a, a MacBook. And with that being said, I guess I should you know go to like the last you know things in the in the bag here 
the last few things in the bag i'm trying to get you guys out of here it's way too long we have a a battery bank yeah this battery bank is from basis it is 100 watts uh 25 milliamp hours i like it because it's very thin very slim but still is very fast and very powerful i um, highly recommend this battery bank for traveling because you can just slip this in your bag and it doesn't take up a lot of space um, like other battery banks then we have uh, a bunch of cables here always have like a pouch full of cables um, we have pretty much everything i always carry a bunch of charges uh charge cables with me because you never know when you're gonna need a cable and you don't want to be without the cable but each one has its own sort of role and purpose so i make sure i have all the cables that i need now like i was saying we have the the magsafe adapter here because the laptop that i usually take on my journeys is none other than the uh macbook pro i know i know i know i'm a dirty macbook user yes i am i actually use the macbook for like um video editing and all that stuff like that so i'm editing in final cut i know you guys are going to be clowning me in the comments talking about why are you editing in final cut you know you should be using premiere and all that you know but it's whatever I use the MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro M3 Max. Very powerful. Does all of the editing I need. Not just for this channel. I do edit videos for a living, you guys. I know it doesn't seem like it on this channel. Um, it's low budget, but I do edit videos for a living. So I use the Mac and I've been using Final Cut for like over a decade now. So no, I'm not switching. Um, but anyway, I, I have the MacBook and this little adapter here is gonna take like a USB-C and turn it into MagSafe. And then we can uh, plug it in. And now we have like a, a DIY MagSafe cable, as you can see there, and you can use any USB-C cable. It's gonna give you up to 140 watts through this. And I think it's just great to have because you can have this um, MagSafe adapter and then you technically don't have to bring the MagSafe cable. You can just bring regular USB-C cables and that's gonna allow you to use this with other devices, just attach the USB-C, plug it into other devices, and then plug it back into the MagSafe when you're ready to go. And you still have that great MagSafe connection to keep all your USB-C ports available. Now, last thing I'll show you before you guys go, these little things on the back, this is actually for the, the uh, SSD, as you see here. This goes into the back, that slots into there, and that's gonna keep it in place. Um, when I open that up, it's gonna keep it on there. So that's why I love this little um, thing here. So this is all the tech here that's in my bag. I got my passport, I got my handhelds, I got everything I need to get and yeah pretty much on our way but like i said this is just some of the tech that i would take with me let me know in the comments down below what tech you would take with you on like a typical journey maybe if you go uh going out of town for like a, a week you know let me know what tech you would take um you know what what type of cables what type of handhelds what type of accessories what type of adapters let me know in the comments what you would take on a trip also which handout would you take with you if you're going on a long trip let me know are you rocking with the rg ally x are you rocking with the steam deck are you rocking with uh something like the x1 let me know what type of handout you're rocking with in the comments down below but anyway this has been another brilliant episode of video like subscribe ring that bell all that great youtube stuff and i will see you guys in the next one yes i am technically a united kingdom uh citizen <laughs> anyway peace